Hey there, everybody. I am Sir Tap Tap, and this is Ida's Dream. A standalone little mini adventure that's uh, now on all versions of this game. Uh, I believe it was originally on iOS first, and um, there was a little bit of weirdness. It was originally Ida's Red Dream. It was kind of like a. It was designed for um, a charity thing, and uh, now it's it's been made blue, and it's just kind of for everything now. Oh, there we go. I just love the tactileness of this game. Uh, if you watch, if you like the tactile nature of this game, check out uh, Nog. Nog is a game that is, I hadn't really thought about it as I played the game, but Nog is very much like this in some ways. It, um, it just has kind of that vibe. That, that touchy-feely vibe and just moving stuff around just feels good and... That's right, Parker. That's right? And just that feel of pushing buttons and things changing around. I don't know how to describe it better than just tactile, but uh, I like it a lot. Uh, I have a full playthrough of that as, on this channel as well, so check that out. Sir tap tap G-N-O-G. Gnog. Like, noggin? But with a G, I guess. <laughs> Not like Noggin, but whatever. Um, interesting, how do I- oh, oh, here we go. I need to get over to that. Uh, ah, there we go. So, I've been told the thing about Totem. And I'll try to show that off in this video. I don't know exactly how long. This little thing is. I like. I like how this is kind of. Um, every every time they did a different DLC or you know expansion, they kind of had a different. <coughs> excuse me. I'm up in my throat. Um, they did a different method of showing like the different levels and stuff, and this is all kind of this um, windmill and it has different levels to like. I, I kind of like that. It gives a different vibe. I I like when games have. Uh, eh? Vibe. Oh, and um, you might notice my voice is a little bit different. Hopefully, slash, hopefully not in a bad way, but yes. I, um, I tried some new voice settings for my... Oh, here we are. Um, for my recording software. And hopefully... Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, hopefully... That makes my voice a little bit clearer. <coughs> Speaking of my voice clearer, I need to go and, like, cough, and <laughs> I need to do some throat care, actually. Alright, got my tea with honey and lemon, got my neti pot, I've got my allergen causer. Is that right, Parker? Um, but yes, something a little bit... Okay, so that goes there. That much is certain. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't do much for me. Um. What was I gonna say? Oh yes, it's kind of unfortunate with regarding let's plays and stuff. It it really depends a pretty great deal on your voice, and um, if your voice is not in the best shape, then well, you're not gonna be able to do the rest of the video. I don't really have many hobbies that kind of. Mess me up like that. I won't. So, where'd, where did we go into that door? <clears throat> oh! Oh! I just noticed that! Hold up. Can we, can we go in there? I'm a little bit... It's been a little bit since the last video. I don't entirely have the, um... Hmm. How do we get up there? I don't entirely have the uh, Monument Valley mindset going on. That could be bad news. Um, jeez. So I go in here. Wait. No, I go in here. And where does that put me? I 
can go in here. That doesn't do anything for me at all. By the way, neti pots, they really work. Um, I know a lot of people is like, ew, you put thing in your nose? It's like, well, yeah, that's, that's where the problem is. <laughs> you gotta... It really helps to degoopify, and sometimes... If you got... Oh, jeez, I'm not thinking. You gotta think outside the box. Or on the box, in this case. No wonder this thing could move here. Oh, duh. Okay. M mindset, Monument Valley mindset reacquired. Sometimes you just gotta get back into how the puzzles work. It has been a little bit too long since we did one of these. I, um... There we go. I took a little break after the Forgotten Shores DLC. And we will be doing Monument Valley too. I'm um, so this took a little bit longer than I thought. I just I, I don't like having too much um, of the same thing in a row. And then I did this, and then I did Through Abandoned, which is another kind of mysterious vibe game. But um, uh, other way. But um, I definitely enjoyed it. We're definitely going to do Monument Valley too. I just didn't want to saturate too much with the same stuff. I do have a bunch of other videos I need to publish. I, I, I kind of bounce between two problems. Too many videos to publish and no videos to publish for like weeks on end. So what I tend to do is I cut my videos into 15 minute bits and I try to release just one per day. Unless I really have like a lot. Alright, this one! Oh, this is so cool. They do some really cool stuff in this. I really like... They really managed to make some really cool stuff with the... Uh, Little DLCs. By the way, we need to play Echo Chrome, don't we? I forgot about that. Echo Chrome, if you like this game, you will probably like Echo Chrome. It's another kind of, uh, sort of Escher esque, um, game. So I need to get on top of. I need to get on top of that. Just not sure how I do that. Oh! Okay, get me back on here. Nah, oh. <laughs> Echo Chrome has that same vision issue. Uh, Echo Chrome, oh, Echo Chrome is really good. I, I can't believe we haven't checked that out. There's an Echo Chrome 2 that I don't think I've played yet, actually, too. Um. Wait, wait a minute. There we go. Easy as that. I really like how they... Just look at that, that's really cool. Okay, let's leave. Jeez, we might finish this in one uh, one video, huh? Uh, let's see exactly how many are left. Just two? Yeah, let's see, just two. Alright, just one video for this then. I, uh, I wasn't sure exactly how long this was. You just have to just stop and appreciate the vibes in this game sometimes. Just the colors, the geometry, of course, the sacred geometry, the, um, the ambience. Just, just very chill vibe. This is the kind of stuff I love in VR, and I want to see more of in VR. And there isn't that much. There isn't really a lot. But, uh, Gnog is, in fact, in VR and is very much like this. Um,. I didn't do my Let's Play of Gnog in VR just because VR is hard to do video stuff for and people people don't tend to like it. Um, is this what I have to do? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I remember this kind of. Um, it's interesting how new something becomes a few years after you've played it. That's kind of, I think that's kind of a secret to if you want to um, to say let's play um, some games that you haven't like you already know and like you want it to be kind of fresh the secret is um, play it a few years later that sucks to have to wait and all that stuff but um, you'd be surprised what you forget it really does kind of feel not quite totally new but um, as, as you can see it does result in some difficulties. Um, I think what I need to do here... Uh, wait, no, no, no. I need to go here. I need to get onto this ramp. Here we go. <clears throat> I think for puzzle games it's an especially good vibe because, like, you don't have that feeling of totally knowing exactly what to do, but you're not just completely 
bonkers lost, which is always terrible for doing videos. It's like, why is this guy so dumb? Why is this guy not doing the right things? It's like, well, I don't, I don't know them. And you have to decide how much to edit. And it's a very frustrating experience to do a really difficult puzzle game live and then try to edit that down to something reasonable. I see you. I see you. Um, let's turn this boy. Oh, there we go. I love the little, I love games with like workable, like walkable world maps where you just like walk around on it. I mean, this is technically, like, it's just a windmill, but it's still the world map. It's just a small world. It's a small world after all. All right. Is Totem in this DLC? I, I don't remember. I guess this is the last level, so if he's anywhere, he's a he's here. I'm a big fan of these ones where you, you you turn around the whole the whole boxy thing. It's a good it's a good vibe. Uh. All right. Hi, Parker. Yes. Feels. Like a little bit of like a Zelda dungeon, so I think this is the wrong place to be. Ah, yeah, wrong place to be. All right, let's go back. Go back around here. So, does that get me anywhere? What I would really love to get is into that door. Can we do that? Hi, Parker. Yes. Whoa. Okay. I see. This is not how I this is not how I was expecting that to go. Um Hi Parker, yes. Are you gonna come up and break something? He knocked over a two liter yesterday. Good for him. He ruined all of the, the fizz of the stuff that was not in there. And he got the the table sticky and I had to clean everything, and thanks Parker, you're just very good at ruining things. <laughs> Pet owners. Oh! Interesting. Okay, my brain is not ready for this one. Get get up there. Um. Does that... Hmm. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Um. Hi, Parker. Yes. Yes. Ah, here we go. It's got to be this. I know we got to get in the door. That's all. I love that little food over there. I feel like this has to be... One of... Huh? Oh, here we go. Here we go. There it is. See, I love puzzles like this where you just... You haven't been here before, so you have to keep going. And that just kind of helps you figure it out. I didn't know the exact whole solution there, obviously. But, um, you know, I still worked it out. That's why I really like the puzzles in this game. I've never felt stupid playing a um, Monument Valley puzzle and... Totem! Sorry. <laughs> I've never felt like, hey, this was an unfair puzzle. I've never had that feeling in this. There's been a few things that were a little bit weird. We had what I assume was an emulation glitch, really, previously. Um, um, oh, wait, hold up. So there's one thing I wanted. Um, sorry, I forget who suggested this, but ah, if you stand up next to Totem, you can pet it. And I don't think I ever did that in the original or in the um, in the let's in the previous let's play stuff. So what we need to do? Get totem over here. Totem best player too. All right, get up a little bit. I love when Monument Valley puzzles. Oh wait. Oh no, we can't do that. Okay, so we need to get up here. 
I wonder if I can just like cheap it out. Can I just... Okay, no. <laughs> it's not gonna let me do that, okay. So I need to get up here. Got it. Um, you stay here, then you'll go over here. And then you get up here. And I like the, the the reveal that this was a this was a puzzle too. It seemed just like the world map and stuff, but no, it is also a puzzle. Oh, oh, that's that's okay. Can I just go over here and get the totem on here. Oop. There we go. Now, are we stealing or returning sacred geometry at this point? I guess we're returning it. Cube. Cube is best geometry. All right, that was Ida's dream. Is it non-canon then? Thanks for playing Ida's dream. This chapter is for charity. Enjoy this journey. Support it. Worthy cause. Close to you. I gotta say, charity-wise, supporting local is usually one of my you know most important things. There are there's good websites out there to check the validity of stuff. Um, I've seen. I, I really I really get upset by charities that just waste people's money and stuff. And I've, I've gotten in arguments with people, putting, you know, using my words, not that, you know, not the most clearest. I, I do definitely support charity. It's just not all charitable organizations are the same. That's all I want to say. Just make sure your money is going to a good place and it actually gets to that place. But, um, it's a lot of charities good, um, near to my heart. Personally, I like Able Gamers and I like, um, Electronic Frontier Foundation. Uh, EFF, um, weird, where'd my saves go? Huh, I must have restarted the game, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, we've already played, we, just, just to point out, we have finished Monument Valley 1 and all the extra stuff, so that is it for Monument Valley. There will be Monument Valley 2, um, don't know exactly when, I do have a lot of videos recorded, but, uh, I might go and just record that right now after this. Um, but yeah, EFF's great, they, um, they support a lot of um, causes, like uh, they, they tend, they, you know, they'll sue if go local governments or whatever, um, you know, infringe on people's rights, especially in the digital, you know, the electronic frontiers. It's kind of it's what it says on the tin. So um, I tend to support them. Um, I've donated to Wikipedia, and <laughs> I, I get those emails. Um, I do think people are a little, you know. You get amazing stuff for free on Wikipedia. I don't think their charity nags are that bad. Um, it's just that people see a lot of them. Um, I definitely think Wikipedia is an extremely worthy cause. Um, anyway, just a little aside there on charity. But um, the thing about charity is there's so many different things. Um, and another thing I, I do want to say, I mean, the thing about charity is you give what you have. You... you I, I don't ever want to like measure people by how much they donate because hey if you're super rich and you donate 90 percent of your wealth to charity hey that's great and that does a lot of work but you know you donating 90 percent of your wealth might mean you know nothing in terms of your lifestyle whereas donating 10 percent of your wealth if you're like really in hard times could be like you know you die <laughs> so don't don't die give what you can and um Sometimes you can volunteer your time. Check out local charities where you can donate your time if um, if money is not an option or is a poor option. So, um, yeah. Monument Valley. And um, see you in Monument Valley too. Which I'm going to download right now on this emulator. It's already on my phone, but I'll download it right now. So, soon. soon. And if you've been enjoying the Monument Valley series, Make sure to subscribe, click the little bell icon so you actually get notifications. I hate, I hate the YouTube system. It's so overcomplicated. It's so overcomplicated. Anyway, have a good day, everybody.